automatic start, diesel, super duty. <laughs> this thing sounds good. Got your uh, lights, so like at nighttime, you know, I could just light up the back of my trailer. This thing is beautiful. You said that you that. Uh, the mirrors extend, you got your blind spot warning, the whole nine. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and today. We gonna do something a little bit different. Um, before we jump into the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to all my female, um, all my female viewers because I have noticed that there is starting to be female viewers. So shout out to y'all. Um, also shout out to everybody that subscribed and everybody that watched the channel too. I definitely appreciate every single one of y'all um, for rocking with me and everything like that, especially through these times without the Impala. I know my Impala family want to see the Impala, man. And like I said, trying to get the car back, trying to. So just stick with me. I know it's been a long, long time without the car, but trust me, the car is one day gonna come back. And also too, you know what I'm saying? We'll probably throw in another project too um, after the Elko is done and then after the Impala does come back because the Elko will be pretty much complete once it's painted. So anyways, man, shout out to everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. So today we're gonna do a little bit, something a little bit different. Um, 2022 is gonna be a huge year. It's gonna be a big year. I got a lot of big plans. So I wanna bring y'all along with me for those plans. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go trailer shopping. Um, I know you guys won't be able to guess what we're doing, but like I said, we're gonna go trailer shopping. We're gonna go look at some trailers and stuff like that and see what we can get into today. So um, without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, y'all, here we are. The trailers, um, that car hauler is pretty dope, but that ain't what we here for. We here for these big Tex goose, gooseneck trailers. So we about to try to see what it do over here. Um, it look like they ain't got the type that I, I need. I'm looking for a 30 plus foot. The guy said they got a 35 by five, but I need at least eight foot wide. So we'll see, we'll see what it do. But uh. I'm gonna walk up on it and then we'll see what it looks like. Here we go. I think this is the 35. Oh, it's a 16, 16 GM. I mean, it got the length. It just don't got the width, bro. Oh, so. Oh, so you could put all your uh, equipment and stuff in there, chains and stuff. Hello. I'm doing all right. Yeah, y'all. We could fit probably about huh, a couple of cars on here. Probably fit about a couple of cars on here. So they're 35 plus five. 35 feet long for the trailer. Dual axles or double axles. And then they got the the ramps. You got the ramps back here. I love the smell of fresh rubber, man. But yeah. So the gooseneck obviously is what we're looking for. This thing is actually pretty nice. $500 deposit is really nothing. That's nothing, bro. I wonder how long it's gonna take them to get tires though. They got a bunch of trailers. They do financing for sure. So, I mean, what? 
But uh, yeah, so anyways, we got the mega ramp. So these things flip out, fall down, obviously, all the way to the ground. And I also would like to install a, a winch on the front of this thing, just so that, you know, if I'm picking up a car that obviously is not mobile, you know what I mean? Just pull it right up on the trailer, strap it down, and uh, get ready to go. Yeah, man, 16 GN. I think that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at. Nice little, uh, nice wood decking. Looks brand new, brand new trailer. Huh? This is me to see. Oh, yeah. So, from the way. So, the trailer. And we got the, like I said, the box for, you know, for storage and like our chains and our straps and stuff like that. Got the thing for the spare tire. There's all our trailer information. Um, gooseneck. 20, dang, this is brand new, bro, 2022. Yeah. That's good. Should be no electrical nothing there shouldn't be nothing wrong with this trailer bro at all we shouldn't be having to change brakes axles nothing but yeah man just out here trailer shopping seeing what we're gonna get into yep put our yep so one of these the lady said that is sold already i don't know which one but whatever they both the same thing this thing is really really nice man like i said we out here trailer shopping just to see what uh what we can get into. Like I said, 2022 should be a real big year. Really, really big year. So yeah. We're looking real nice, man. Real nice. I know this is a little different than you know the car content, but this will be in addition too. So yeah. We need something like this. truck shopping as well obviously can't have a trailer without a truck you know so I'm looking for a diesel truck it's got to be a diesel truck so um, I'm not really 81,000 miles I'm not really too picky on the brand um, you know whatever I can find especially with uh, seeing how the truck prices are going nowadays man uh it's kind of crazy oh that's a hemi power wagon don't need nothing like that what's this Got another hemi power wagon it's gas though we're gonna need diesel uh so yeah Huh? Yeah, I'm not I'm not too picky on the brand. Like I said, I'm a Chevy dude, but at the end of the day, oh there go a mega cap. Yeah, we gonna be we gonna be working. Oh uh, yeah. Work truck. That's what I want right there. But that's not what we here for. We need to we need one of these. Yeah, that's that's a big big dog. Is it open? Oh, of course not. Yeah. So we looking at trucks, trailers, man, trying to see what we can find. You know what I mean? This thing is dirty. It's nice on the inside though. You know what I'm saying? Dodge, I feel like, you know, they're making probably the best 81. Damn. They probably, uh, yeah. 
2500 is all we really need to um Yeah, so anyways, y'all, we looking for trucks, truck, trailer, everything like that. Like I said, we got big plans for 2022. That's my dream truck right there, the TRX. If I could have any truck, it would be that, but I can't use that. So, uh, yeah, man, I just, you know, taking y'all on my journey. Like I said, we got big plans for 2022, and, uh, you know, we're going to make it happen. So, let me walk the lot. And if we can find something pretty dope, I'll cut y'all back on. If not, we'll go to the next dealership and see what they got. All right, we done made it to four. There go another TRX. What? That thing is sexy. But dude, $100,000 for that truck, bruh? No way. I couldn't see myself spending $100,000 for no truck. But anyway, they got some dualies over here. Man, jump in the comment section and let me know what you think is going down. Like I said, huge plans for 2022. I'm looking for a truck and a trailer. So, um, they got some dualies. Like I said, I'm not too picky on the truck. I said I'm a Chevy dude, but a truck is a truck to me. As long as it can move my trailer, we good to go. Um, and long as it's, you know, comfortable f-350 dually super super duty i don't think it's open oh yeah yeah they all locked this one's nice though bro just got the fifth wheel in it the gooseneck nope i'm gonna have to get it installed Another super duty. I'm really looking for a 2500. Yep, here we go. 2500. Super duty. They got the lights in the trailer. This one got the fifth wheel in it though. Yeah. How much is that one over there? Oh, of course. They want you to come in and talk to them. They got something. A 150 ain't gonna cut it, so. Um, they got this Duramax right here. I wouldn't mind the Duramax 2019. As long as they got, it's open over there. All right, I'm gonna come over there. As long as it, oh uh, yeah, we got the gooseneck. Already ready to go, that Audi's nice. Pretty nice color. Like that. This mug probably 80 grand, bro. King Ranch. Let's see what it look like up in here. Oh uh, yeah, I like the fold out. Oh yeah, this is this is pure luxury right here, brother. Got the heated cool seats. We can trade the bins in. They got the 12 volt joint. Shit, might as well fuck it. Oh <laughs> shit. It got the panoramic. Man. Got the panoramic. Oh, these buttons, what do they do? For all the, the trailer Try stuff, I'm sure. Let's see. No, that's auxiliary. Oh, is it? It, it says auxiliary. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah, for the trailer, for the trailer yeah. stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like. Yeah, man. Oh, man. It's high class, bro. It is, bro. What's the point of having a luxury car, bro? It's the King Ranch. Only thing, only problem is, bro, this truck's too nice for trailering, you know? If we in it, ain't too nice. That's true. Yeah, I got everything you need, Everything man. you need. And then I guarantee you... Let's that... see. The seats fall down. Yep. yep. Got your bottle. Oh, is that... A... Yep, got your bottle jack there. Got a nice little subwoofer. That's why the only reason why I want the Dodge though, bro, is because the whole back seat you pull down to make a bed. Like this is nice, but this thing, 80 grand. That's how much it say? I'm sure it's 80 grand. It doesn't say. This one got 21,000 miles on it. That's 
This F-250 is beautiful, platinum. It don't have the fifth wheel in it, but it got the locations for the fifth wheel. Also got the, the hookups, the hookup points for all your straps, everything. Stupid clean, bro. It got the step bar just like the King Ranch does. Yeah, bro. Ooh, this burgundy interior is beautiful. It got the big sunroof. I wonder how much this one costs, bro. V8 diesel, right on, right on. This is pretty much the same exact as the King Ranch. They put too much leather. They put too much leather stuff on here. They don't be knowing how to detail, bro. This, this this stuff, this leather stuff, it shouldn't be on here shiny like that because then when the sun hit it, it start to melt the leather. They're going to have to hire some new detailers or something. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? That was just a little side tidbit, side note, whatever. Yeah, this joint nice. Got a few scratches, something. How much, how much, how much, I, how much I take the uh, price down to? The scratches. 36,000 miles. AC, heated and cooled seats. Got all my auxiliary ports. Got my 12 volts. Everything, man. You got all the auxiliary stuff for the trailer. Yeah, man, this is nice. This is real nice. Big platinum. Yeah, man. This is beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful truck. Automatic start. Diesel. Super duty. <laughs> this thing sounds good. Got your uh, lights. It's like at nighttime. You know, I could just light up the back of my trailer. This thing is beautiful. He said that the, uh, the mirrors extend. You got your blind spot warning. The whole nine. All right, grind schoolers. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Um, I just wanted to take y'all along for the ride. Um, today, uh, we didn't do nothing on the car. Um, but like I said, I just want to take y'all along for the ride. Excuse me, because we do have huge plans for 2022. And um, like I said, drop in the comment section what you think that uh, we are getting into. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're going to have huge plans coming 2022. Uh, there will be a pickup truck uh, in store for the channel. Um, also, too, we are trying to bring another project to the channel as well. Um, I had said this before and I stated this previously that I wanted to bring a dump to the channel. So there was one dump. It was $2,500. It was a sports coupe. I don't really like the sports coupe like that, but um, it was $25. You can't really beat that. Around the time that the sports coupe was selling, I was uh, trying to close on my house. So obviously I couldn't move any money around the car sold, whatever that one was gone. Um, the next donk that uh, came up that I saw, it sold for a lot more than what I thought it was gonna sell for at auction, which is kind of understandable because this donk was mint. It was like in perfect condition. Um, There's really nothing wrong with it. It was like a 72. It was on like some uh, 10 inch Dayton's um, or whatever, 13's or whatever they, whatever uh, the the little Dayton's are. But um, yeah, it was on some, some, some Dayton's. It was beautiful. Nothing wrong with the inside, all original. All OG, everything was solid. Um, it probably sold for more than ten thousand dollars. I didn't get a chance to catch the the entire price of the car. Um, so that car sold for a lot more. And around the time that I was getting the Impala, sending the Impala off to the paint shop, that car was selling. So uh, it was a decision between sending the Impala off to the paint shop or getting a dump. Obviously, I went with uh, sending the, the Impala off to the paint shop. Um, and even still, like I wasn't prepared to spend more than $10,000 on the donk at that time. Um, and then also too, I had stated that I wanted to bring the Monte Carlo to the channel. Um, this Monte Carlo probably was on the auction block for like two years. Um, and there was nothing there. It was just a shell. There was no doors. There was no front clip. There was no trunk. There was nothing there. Um, 
and this car has sat on the auction block for probably about two years. I don't know what that one sold for because eventually I kind of had lost interest because I was going back checking to see if it was for sale, checking to see if it was for sale, checking to see if it was for sale. And eventually um, I had kind of forgot about it, went back, it was gone. So I don't know what happened to that car. That car was gone. Um, <clears throat> but now we are going to figure out a situation um, where we can find cars wherever, wherever. Especially with the setup that um, I showed you guys earlier in this video, uh, we can find cars wherever and it doesn't matter where they're at um, and not just locally. Uh, where I'm at my market, cars are pretty, pretty pricey. Um, people are selling trash cans for whatever and everybody knows that the car game, not just the used car market, but the car game like the G-Body game and all that kind of stuff, don't game, um, all this, all this stuff, everybody wants, you know, $5,000 for a tin can with no doors on it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people want $10,000 for some, you know, speakers that you can go buy at the, the auto parts store and some, you know, thousand dollar wheels and no motor in it. And everybody's asking for like $10,000. It's ridiculous right now what these cars are, are going for, what people are asking for them. Eventually you get to a point where people stop buying them um, and you'll just have to reduce your price or just sit on it forever until somebody, one sucker tries to, you know, pick it up. But, you know, a lot of cars are in the South. There's a lot of cars in the South um, that are reasonable still. So we might find a, a nice little project down there. But like I said, man, it's going to be a huge 2022. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Um, thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, this was a little bit of a different type of video, but I kind of wanted to break up the monotony of, you know what I'm saying, just jumping on the Elko every single day um, until completion. And like I said, I'm not going to continue to just show body work. That's not, you know, that's not going to be beneficial for anybody. I know you guys are tired of seeing the car in the state that it's in. Um, and you guys want to see progress, but obviously progress takes time. So anyways, like I said, I kind of want to break it up a little bit and then, uh, just try to, you know, uh, bring out something different, I guess you could say. But anyways, man, I'm gonna stop talking. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, we're doing something huge in 2022. So stay tuned, man. And always remember work hard so you can live free.